First on four, Texas Governor Greg Abbott is using social media to let Texas know the state is actively working to fight the fentanyl crisis in honor of National Fentanyl Awareness Day. He challenges Texans to educate themselves and their families about the dangers. The San Antonio Council on Alcohol and Drug Awareness says the city needs more resources to focus on the community's most vulnerable. Their solution includes tracking live data on fentanyl and overdose deaths. Now, other cities here in the state already make this data available, so why doesn't San Antonio? News for San Antonio Stephanie Esquivel went to find out when the city plans to do so. With fentanyl cases on the rise across the country, city leaders are exploring what additional resources the city can provide to vulnerable communities to prevent people from dying. We're learning to talk about it with each other and really focusing on what it is that we can do. I do think that access to that information is going to be critical. San Antonio District 4 Councilwoman Adriana Rocha Garcia agrees more resources can be provided in San Antonio to prevent fentanyl related deaths. One possible resource would be the city providing live data on fentanyl and overdose related deaths and a map that would provide areas of the city that might be experiencing a spike. We spoke to the CEO of the San Antonio Council on Alcohol and Drug Awareness about how that would help. We take um, strategies to that community right away and we we create awareness and we're already doing it over the whole city. But if you know the spots, the hot spots, you're able to do a live um, intervention for that community right away. So does San Antonio have any plans to provide this type of information? We took that question to San Antonio Metro Health. They told us they're already working on making this data available and sent us a statement. It said San Antonio Metro Health began developing an interactive overdose map in August 2023 and anticipates completion by late 2024. Okay, and we also spoke to Dr. Tara Carnes Wright with UT Health. She told us she's aware of other cities already doing this, alerting the entire community of sudden overdose spikes. And in fact, what some cities do is they actually have an alert system that helps them um, send out alerts to not only individuals who may use drugs, but also to their first responders across the city or across the county. Stephanie Esquivel, News 4, San Antonio.